Is that a customer? What's up guys, I'm ready for my shift. Oh, bloody hell. Should we cook something? What's the point? No one's gonna buy it. We're a Macca's franchise in a mansion that three people live in. Come on, Greg, they pay us well. To do nothing. We sit around ready to cook Macca's food and once every couple weeks, Richie comes in and gets a burger. I don't know why I'm even hired. I've rocked up here to a five hour shift to stand behind a counter and do nothing. I've worked here for months. I've never even served a customer. Think about the money the rich family's pouring down the drain keeping this place open. Yeah, but think about it. If you were rich, how cool would it be to have your own McDonald's? Yeah, it sounds fun if you're a child, but look at this place practically. They had to purchase a whole franchise, hire workers. I used to work at a real fucking Macca's. This technically is a real McDonald's. We bleed money. I have to fill out financial reports quarterly. It's in the red, deeply, constantly. I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth, I look in the mirror and I say to myself, I'm about to go to work at a fast food restaurant that was opened as a fucking meme for a 12 year old. Have you even met Richie or his parents? No! You've been working here for a month, there's only three possible customers and you've never met any of them! Yeah, it's cooked. This place is tragic. Guys, I've got something to tell you. What? Yeah, what? You're an undercover boss. What?! There's a camera there, and a camera there! But that would make you... Yes, I am Mr. Rich. Bloody hell, Mr. Rich. You've been working at the Maccas with us for a month. Haven't you got more important things to do? I wanted to do some quality assurance in different areas of my household. But a whole month? I've made you sweep floors and, like, clean grime and stuff. I clogged the toilet and I made you fucking plummet. And no one ever comes in here. What a spectacular waste of time. Well, I just wanted to see if you boys had the right attitude for the rich house. And I can now be assured that you don't. What are you saying? What I'm saying is I'm shutting this joint down. If you just asked me, I would have told you that was a good idea. You're both losing your jobs and getting, quite frankly, disgustingly large severance packages. This seems like a good thing, but you're saying it like it's a bad thing. Hopefully you can learn your lesson and um, change your attitude a little bit. This literally could not have gone better for us. I don't know what you mean. Right, I'm off. I've got a lot to check up on. I left Richie in charge of things and I can't imagine that's gone well. He's 12. Here we go step in, yeah, yeah. and we go test it up uh, Yeah they got double cups, so me and my boo got